Yay, Chop Happy! How you guys doing? Um, it's Jay from Chop Happy. So you're gonna see this on my blog and on YouTube. Uh, but let's talk about it. We're gonna make pizza rustica or pizza pie or Easter pie, but you can make it anytime. Me being Jewish, I can have it on Easter or Passover or Hanukkah. Oy. Um, so this all comes from my friend Ronnie, who I've known for years and years and years. He always made this. He called it Pizza Gain. Um, his mom's recipe, but he would never give me the recipe. So I searched and searched and tried to make it myself. So easy. So easy. I'm so excited to, to do this with you. So in here, um, I have lots of good stuff. So I have what I call my Italian glue. So you can look that up on YouTube as well too, but it's ricotta cheese, it's grated garlic, it's parsley, it's basil, and it's oregano, all chopped up together. The only difference is what in my Italian glue, I do three tablespoons of parm. In here, I put three quarters of a cup, because we gotta parm it up, parm it up, and I mix it, and then I take four eggs that I beat nicely. Oh, back to the beating eggs. I put that in there too. I'm almost kind of like making an Italian quiche. And then I'm gonna take a whole cup of Genoa salami. Oh my God. This is like a sandwich, met a pizza, and they had a baby. Where a pizza and a sandwich had twins, a calzone and a baby. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a half a cup each of pepperoni. So I like to use the deli pepperoni. Um, oh, it has such a beautiful red color. And a quarter cup of prosciutto. I chopped it all up for you. And then I take about a cup of my mozzarella Italian blend. So mozzarella Italian blend has Romano cheese, Asiago cheese, and I put all that in there. Wunderbar, and then just how would it be Italian glue if I didn't also put in my fennel. So I put a tablespoon of fennel. Oh, I love fennel. I could put in like 12 tablespoons of fennel, but we would all turn into sausage if I did that. And a small, small pinch of red pepper flakes. And I just rub it in my fingers to make it hot, hot, hot. How you feeling, hot, hot, hot? All right, so I mix it all together, and you're gonna see it in one second, because I'm gonna put it right onto the dough. And if you look over here, I have this beautiful puff pastry dough that you have to thaw out, and then I rolled it out a little bit on a floured surface board. And then, doesn't that look beautiful, guys? It's like a canvas for love. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna take this mixture, and I'm gonna put it right in the middle, right over here. Okay, guys, you can eat this just like it is. Um, although I don't suggest the raw eggs, not a good idea. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle and uh, sort of paint it on like a chop happy Picasso all the way through, trying to keep half of it to itself. Ah, oh, I love it. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my God. Ah, I don't know, I wanna eat that right now. Okay, so here's the fun part. So folks, let me tell you something. I've made this a million times, right? Um, also, by the way, I'm gonna put a little bit of cracked pepper on the top. I made this a million times, but I've also screwed it up a million times. So, one of my favorite parts of this is the beautiful egg wash. So this is gonna help make sure it seals nicely, and I just put on the edges. But, say the, the pastry dough was sitting out too long, right? Don't worry about it. You can fix it up. So I'm gonna show you how I did that in the finished product. We're gonna put it all around the side. So this is kind of like painting with numbers. But instead of painting with numbers, we're painting with prosciutto. Painting with prosciutto, ladies and gentlemen. Painting with prosciutto. And cooking should be fun. It should be happy. You should be doing like the cookie jam. Okay, so it's not like real TV. Nothing happened there because it didn't go in the oven. But here we go. So I'm wrapping up my package. Ah, I love when that happens. Don't worry if you get little holes because you're gonna have to cut up holes anyway to it. Okay, this is live TV, folks. Live TV, so I'm gonna take this and roll this up like this, and kind of pinch it all together for you, just like that. Oh, Mexico, actually we should say, oh, Milano. Okay, just like that. Okay, so here's the most important part. It's like a pizza baby. Okay, here we go, baby, I know. I know you're just like my baby Charlie. And we're gonna go up there just like that, voila. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could hear me right now, you're giving me a standing ovation. So if it rips, no matter what it does, 
Do not worry about it. It's no big deal. So my beautiful egg wash again. And we're painting my numbers again. And put it all the way in the top, just like when you want to go to the beach. I grew up in the Jersey Shore. We the beautiful tan. Oh my God. Um, so does your food needs a beautiful tan, especially puff pastry. So you put it just like that. And if you left it out for too long, you can always put it back into the refrigerator so it gets cold again because there's butter in the puff pastry is what makes it puff up and that really helps a lot. But I like to slather on the egg wash so it tans. It's SB50, okay? So you won't burn too much. You'll just get a nice, beautiful tan on it. Um, just like my Jersey friends out there. Hello, Jersey. I used to go tanning too at the tanning salon. I know it's not good for you. Okay, and then just so it could breathe a little bit, I have my knife and I'm just gonna make some slits, almost like a pie. So ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about one more thing. If you're scared of puff pastry, no need to be, but if you are, you can use pizza dough. You use pizza dough, you do it at 400 degrees just like this, but for pizza dough you do it 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes. If you wanna do pie, and make it like a quiche pizza rustica. You can use the pie, but then you do it at 375 degrees for 20 minutes. The sky's the limit. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, bye. Oh, you're so beautiful. Do you wanna look at this one more time? Hello, hi. Okay. And with the magic of television history, I have one already made for you. Ah, oh, look at how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful, beautiful for spacious skies. Apple wand on the warm up pie. All right, so that one's gonna cook for about 30 minutes. All right, so let's put this out here. So I actually use non-stick foil so that it doesn't stick, just like that. My cameraman is very cameraman friendly. And here we go. So I'm gonna put some finishing touches on this for you so you can do this any way you want. I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese. Oh, why not just gild that lily just a little bit? Let it snow. It's actually snowing here in New York City right now. So why not snow on our pizza rustica? Here you go. And then, to add some greenery, just throw a little bit on like that. Ah, hello. Hello, Basil. You're my baby. Ah, and can you imagine having a dinner party or having brunch? and just serving this. Just put it on a big cutting board and just serving it right there like that. This is a winner, winner, winner. OMG. And you don't have to be Italian to make it, because I'm not. I'm a Jewish boy from New Jersey. All right, so I'm gonna open this up a little bit. I'm gonna take a piece out of this on the back. Oh yeah, baby. Let me take this out. Okay, folks, look at this. Look. How beautiful that is. Hello, welcome to my mouth. I'm ready to eat you. My name is Pizza Rustica at ChopHappy.com. You can go on YouTube and find out how I made this totally so easy. All right, you ready? Mm. Oh my God. It's like a piece met pizza and a calzone that had a party together, had a baby, had a wedlock, in wedlock, wherever you are in the country. Oh, and they made Beautiful, beautiful history. This is so good. I'm gonna have to make this. I'll see you guys later. Chophappy.com. Check it out. If you like it, write a comment. I love you guys with a grateful heart and an Italian pizza rustica. Tell me, ciao, bella. Mmm, mmm, so good.